you know, there's a lot of energy on the shop floor now. People are getting ready. We're ready to fight. We're ready to take them on. And uh, if they decide to pull out of Canada, it's uh, going to be a historic fight. And, uh, we're not going to give them an inch on this one. It's the uh, government bailouts, I think, were 2008 or 2009, where Ontario or uh, Canadian taxpayers gave $10 billion in bailout loans to General Motors. The uh, workers have also really done their part. They have gave concessions after concessions after concessions. So one of the big ones that has happened is the introduction of a second tier of workers. Um, and that was supposed to be temporary. It was always said, you know, we're going to make you whole. You're going to become a, a full-time GM member. And now GM is threatening to, uh, or they're giving every indication by not allocating any product to Oshawa that they're getting ready to uh, pull out. Uh, there's a sense of fear on the shop floor, but there's also a sense of anger and uh, righteous indignation now. So people on the shop floor are really starting to mobilize and come together, trying to build capacity around this campaign because you know we're in, we're in for the fight of our lives. So, so there's a website, uh, gmoshawamatters.ca, I believe, uh, hashtag gmoshawamatters. Uh, it's on Facebook, I believe, Twitter. And uh, so that's been growing like just monumentally. There's, I think, uh, up around 700,000 likes and shares. So it's, it's really starting to go viral. So I'd encourage people to check that out, get engaged and uh, stay involved. And, uh, you know, the guys that first started it, they really hit the ground running with it and uh, had their work cut out for them. But it's, uh, you know, it's come together quickly and uh, we're starting to band together and really mobilize around this. I was feeling really concerned. And then I've heard uh, Jerry Diaz, who's the president of uh, Unifor, who said that um, he is going to make sure that we find a solution, that, that GM Oshawa has the full support of Unifor and its 310,000 members. Um, Hassan Youssef, who uh, heads up the Canadian Labour Congress, has also assured us that uh, um, if GM decides to pull out of Oshawa, that they're going to be at war with uh, Canada's labour movement. And having that kind of support uh, makes you feel strong. So having, having the union support um, and knowing that we've got brothers and sisters out there from across the country who are going to be uh, having our backs, uh, gives us a lot of hope. And to be at a point now where we're fighting for basic things that people had um, 50 years ago uh, and we're at risk of losing it, it gives you a different perspective on uh, what it means to need a union, on um, how important it is for people to be engaged. It isn't something that we can just, uh, you know, uh, take a ride on, you have to actually be out there and working and having conversations with people about how these jobs are going to, and the loss of these jobs are going to impact the community and and the country as a whole. It's good to see the community behind us, but we're, uh, we're trying to step it up, amp the campaign up and do more. Um, so we're looking to engage with uh, some of the other, other plants as well and hope that they start to uh, you know, mobilize around these issues so we can really you know, confront the entire auto industry because we're all in a similar situation because of globalization. So, but we've been uh, holding uh, roundtable discussions about uh, like asking people on the shop floor to come out, get engaged. Uh, you know, really take ownership of the campaign to try to build it towards uh, you know the strongest and most diverse direction we can take it. And what what we really need is support. We need the community support. We need government support. Um, we need the support of other workers. It's time. It's time for us to stand up again. Yeah.